People who know me know I am a big advocate at looking at new technologies, whether it be libraries or IDEs or templating engines, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever works to speed up the web development process or the development process makes sense, right? Now, that doesn't mean you should jump on every new language that comes out, but every now and then, something very interesting comes out that has to be considered, and you've got to be willing to drop old ways of doing things, adopt new ways of doing things. Now, since I've been coding since the 90s, I've done this many times, many times. I can tell you that web design and development and development in general is very different today than it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, etc. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a builder called Webflow. Now, this is a sponsored post to be totally transparent, but you also know that I'm not going to bring to your attention products that are not any good. This looks like a very good product and it's very, very promising. And in fact, some huge people, some huge players are now using Webflow, including Facebook, NASA, Dell, uh, Intuit, and uh, surprising, surprising, even Adobe is using Webflow. That kind of freaked me out for various reasons. So that's a good thing. So let's look over this product and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so Webflow in a nutshell is a tool that allows you to drag and drop and create grid-based modern day web design or websites or web UIs, however you want to characterize it. If you look at the overlays I'm gonna run now, you see that it looks really seamless, easy to do, pretty cool. But what's really cool about this is that as you're dragging and dropping and creating your websites, you're actually producing high quality HTML5 and CSS code behind the scenes. Now, what makes this significant is that your designers or you as a designer who may not be the most code savvy, who knows, you should be if you're watching this channel, but if you're not, you know that with Webflow, you can produce really clean code. So if you're working with web programmers who then have to take your web UI code, your web user interface code, and then connect that to a back-end system, you know that the code that they're getting from you through Webflow is actually code that they can work with. This is significant because I can tell you from experience, traditionally, drag and drop tools like this produced really bad code. And it was just a pain to work with. So when web designer types would produce websites with traditional code editors, not code editors, traditional drag and drop web design tools, the programmers were not looking forward to dealing with those, uh, with the code that the systems generated. It was just too, too much work, too difficult. Webflow is mindful of that, and they wanted me to emphasize that one of the main advantages of using Webflow is that the code that it does generate behind the scenes is clean and usable by developers. As I mentioned, Webflow creates a grid-based system, which is the modern way of building sites. So you, you can set up your grid, set up your site according to the you know, modern conventions. So that's a very cool thing. But in addition to that, Webflow allows you to create some pretty advanced HTML5-based animations. Again, drag and drop with uh, visual controls rather than having to write code. I can see developers who want to put in some cool uh, type of animations, uh, a little pizzazz into their web user interfaces, not wanting to write reams of code, they could just use Webflow, output it, boom, put it into their, uh, into their own websites and their own web apps. So that's a cool tool. I want to point out that Webflow is not template-based as you see in other systems. It's actually a visual builder. So uh, it gives you much more flexibility in terms of your layouts, as you're going to see with the overlaid animation. So it's a different beast. This is something that true web designers, emphasis on designer rather than coder, true web designers will find very, very compelling because they won't be bound by a particular template. They can just go with whatever vision that they have. I can see a product like Webflow replacing 
using Photoshop, which traditionally people would use Photoshop to sketch out their sites because it was just a little easier. Webflow makes the process quick and easy, so you can actually prototype with Webflow as well. So that means Webflow is another tool that you can leverage, or it can be the tool that you leverage for your prototyping beyond producing your production sites as well. So it's a great RAD tool, rapid, rapid application development tool. So let's say you are a freelancer, or you're just a designer who has to produce some uh, layouts that your clients can see, Webflow allows you to quickly uh, put onto page, if you will, the ideas that you have in your head so that they can see and approve. So it should speed up and it will speed up the development cycle. All right, that's it for today's video. Take a look below. There's a link to the Webflow. Check out the site. It's worth looking into if you're a web designer type or maybe you are a web developer looking to just have an easy way to produce your web UIs and then grab that code and implement it into your own uh, backend systems. Webflow is definitely worth looking into.